hello 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 good morning actually uh welcome to my youtube channel guys queen with tk i am tk and this is my channel <laughs> um okay so we're doing something a bit different today uh because we're in south africa so yesterday there was a load shedding so then i couldn't is this camera straight is it straight okay i don't know i don't know i don't know okay oops no it's definitely not straight but what can we do what can we do okay i think i think this is okay so we're in south africa and there's been load shedding uh almost every day almost every day and i'm not even exaggerating guys like honestly almost every day there's been load shedding oh i burnt myself um but then so yesterday i couldn't take a video yesterday night so i'm literally taking a video now and the time is six o'clock okay wait is it visible i see people doing this okay wait i don't know uh, oh yeah six o'clock yeah six o'clock oh my gosh i need to buy screen protector so it's six o'clock if you didn't see then i don't know i tried i tried it i'm using my phone as you guys as most of you guys know i'm using my phone so i'm sure you guys are wondering why is she on camera looking all crusty it's because i'm getting ready for work so this will be a get ready with me video and no i don't use any make makeup sorry i don't use any makeup and you know like i've always said like the i've always said on this show i want you know just to be relatable i am not you know using fancy makeup i don't have money for that plus i can't apply makeup so you know it's fine so then i'm just gonna be getting ready with you guys while i speak because yesterday i couldn't take a video because there's no shedding like i literally came back from gym and at 8 p.m and then while i was fixing my water to bath then psh, electricity just went and then i slept at nine and then when i slept at nine my alarm always rings at three so then we're literally having coffee also my alarm rang at three and yeah then i woke up at three then i studied and then by half past five then i got like i had a bath and stuff so then while i was studying <laughs> i was just like okay no i'm gonna take this video because i've been wanting to speak about something uh so anyways i was gonna take the video yesterday yes a wednesday video so then fine let's get ready okay oh by the way my hair is wet because what i do with my hair is i i firstly you guys know i've had this hair for the longest time i think november somewhere i don't know if you can see with the ends they actually wet because what i do with my hair is once or twice a week i boil it like i i pour like i kind of pour um boiling water over the the hair so that i keep it nice and silky all the time and then yeah so while i do this please if you haven't subscribed please don't forget to subscribe like and share the video and if you have subscribed then we'll come back we'll come back we'll come back okay so like i said i'm getting ready so i am going to i mean i'm uh, okay firstly this is my sports bra i guys i don't like bras actually i don't like wearing bras and my boobs are small so it's like you know it's optional if i want to wear a bra i wear a bra which is like most of the time when i go out but then if like i'm going to work i'm just gonna rock a sport bra and you know just go so then i'm just gonna be talking while i should i start with the okay no i'm just gonna start with my face no i'm just gonna start with my face yeah yeah, yeah. okay so um what i wanted to talk about with you guys while i'm getting ready is be careful of shallow people now this is not about uh this is not just for women you know this is not just for women oh by the way i use oil uh for my i use oils literally i think i'm one of the few people who are like obsessed with using oils like it could be tissue oil uh could be some kind of 
just oils i like oils like I, i'm very obsessed with keeping my skin moisturized i think that came about because when i grew up i had like really really dry skin and yeah so then when i grew up i had like really really dry skin like my skin would be dry in a sense that it would actually crack so then i started liking oils and i saw that when i use oils my skin doesn't crack and you know it helped me i never had acne i never had um i never had acne i never had what's this i never had pimples i would just like have spots uh, yeah like i just have like one pimple and then have spots so then from there i've just always liked using oils and for those that have been asking me what i use for my skin <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not that interesting for people to ask me what I use for my skin. But people usually tell me that my I have like really beautiful skin, and um, people that you know get to touch me <laughs> tell me that my skin is very soft. And this is my secret. I use oils. You know, um, maybe I'll, maybe one day I will do a review on the oils that I use. Uh, but mostly it's just like coconut oil. You know tissue oil and stuff like that so then that's what i use on my face like i don't like i don't like the only kind of mats that i like uh would be like on my lips because now i can't be like shiny shiny yo guys i remember at this point one point in my life they used to call me maguinha <laughs> maguinha basically maguinha means fat cook so for those that don't know so like maguinha because i have like high cheekbones as obviously you can see and then i would like use vaseline like blue seal on my skin and and then yeah people will be like i look like a fat cook because i'm all shiny with my high cheekbones but yeah so then i use oils and then like i was saying guys i wanted to speak to you already i've okay so then after bathing i already put oils all over my body so i'm just going to wrap here just a bit that's left because <clears throat> because now with my my face is okay my face is okay so look i just massage the oil in so that I'm not shiny and I'm not maguinha. So now basically the oil is in. Yeah, so I wanted to speak to you guys about um, be careful of shallow people. Uh, when I say be careful of shallow people, I mean, okay, so this is another type of oil that I use. But I'm not really going to, like, you know, speak about these oils because, like I said, I mean, maybe I'm going to do a review one day but right now mm -mm. guys so shallow people um you know and the reason that i was actually i actually had this uh, this you know topic in mind yesterday is because i was speaking to someone and you know they were just going on and on about how you know their girlfriend is hot how she's rich i mean they went to spice sending me the girlfriend's picture and i'm just like uh okay um I'm not going to comment on her looks because to me, every woman is beautiful, you know, but, um, he was talking about how she's hot, how she's rich. And even before, you know, before, like before then, the reason that I actually stopped talking to them is because they were just very shallow, like telling me, oh, I'm a good looking, what, what? And then he would mention his career. I'm a good looking so-and-so. I won't mention his career, obviously. I'm a good looking so and so i'm a young good looking and i just got annoyed because we were we were on the talking stage like he he was asking me out but then obviously we never dated because i was just like ew i, I cannot like I, I really cannot deal with this i am not this shallow you are good looking fine well yeah you think you're good looking or they've told you that you're good looking that's fine but then you can't be telling me you that your best personality i mean your best trait you know or quality is being good looking what what am i gonna do with that i mean i'm good looking myself as well so but you can't you don't hear me going around shouting oh i'm good looking i'm good looking you're good looking so what you know anyways shallow people is people that are actually just like you hear shallow 
it's someone that actually cares so the only thing or the the main thing that they care about when it comes to you know life or relationships is you know how the person looks because he even told me that he only dates hot girls this person and then the uh, the only thing also that they care about is you know how much money the person has or what the person does basically they just care about things that are not really that important are not really that important and you know when you're not a shallow person you look at them like are you being serious though you know someone telling you that you know someone who actually mentions his career all the time like why 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 are you doing that why are you mentioning your career like i, I don't care about that i want to get to know you you know that's what that's why we're dating right? like that's why we go we're on this date i want to get to know you so and 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 i mean i get that you know like i'm saying i'm good looking myself you good looking yourself like i feel like everyone you know you should have that self-confidence to say you know what i'm good looking like i'm beautiful fine but then don't be when you shallow, it's like you overdo it, you know? It's like <laughs> your best your best quality is you being good looking. I'm gonna like you because you're good looking. No. I'm gonna like you because you're good looking. I'm gonna like you because of your career. I'm gonna like you because of the money that you have. I'm gonna like you because of the family that you come from. I mean, I understand that we like dating people um, that are fi like financially stable. I mean, at our age, I know that we like dating people that are financially stable, you know. That's fine. But then now, don't let that be the, you know, the the main reason, you know. I, don't don't think that that is the main reason that I'm with you, you know. Don't don't rub it on in my face, like, oh, yeah, I'm good looking. Like, that, that that's just, it just, it just sounds annoying. It is annoying. And... Yes, so be careful of shallow people. Be careful of shallow friends. Friends that, you know, are only friends with you because of, like I said, they're only friends with you because of maybe your 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 status. Maybe like, let's say maybe you're the president's daughter, for an example, um, or you are or you are a minister's daughter or you go to a certain school and, you know, you basically are maybe more privileged than other people and you find that you know there are people that are your friends uh just because of that they, they don't even care about you they just i don't know whether they want to brag to other people about being friends like i really don't know like I'm, I'm not a shallow person honestly okay like i'm saying i i know like i, I i'm saying you know everyone should have self-confidence that okay i'm beautiful and we all want to date uh financially stable people but then i'm not a shallow person that will just on a date the only thing like i'm gonna repeat i'm beautiful i'm beautiful i'm gonna repeat it 10 times in two minutes like i'm i'm not i'm not a shallow person so i don't really i don't really get why people do that like i don't i wouldn't really say um and also i'm not a psychologist so i wouldn't really say why people are shallow or what 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 um satisfaction they get from being shallow uh, I, I really I really don't know that part but I was just saying guys be careful of shallow people be careful of shallow friends people that are, are just they don't really care about you they care about what you have they care about what you do you know because I feel like I'm not sure if, if I'm correct but I feel like maybe it kind of boosts their it boosts their confidence is it even confidence what they're boosting or is it ego it kind of boosts their ego that I'm friends with, you know, the president's daughter or I'm friends with, you know, the soccer player's wife. And you know what they do? They, um, these people, when you, when you, when, when, when they tell you about someone or when they tell you about their girlfriend and their friends, this is the thing that they're going to mention. Oh, she's so rich. So what? Uh, oh, you know, she, she's dating so-and-so uh and then yeah like she's they're not gonna tell you oh no this is my friend tandega you know no they're gonna tell you oh this is my friend tandega tandega is dating so and so maybe like a minister or whatever and tandega is born into this kind of family but at the time that you 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 know you that 
10 15 minutes that you've spent with them fine they've told you about their friends but they've also told you things that they, they that really do not make sense and things that you don't really need to know what who they date or how much money they have just like this guy yesterday he was telling me because we ended up not dating obviously like i said so we kind of like we're not really friends but i mean we 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 not we're not enemies. I wouldn't say we talk. You know we don't talk like all the time. It's just that hi hey. You know when he, when someone replies on your on your um on your status when someone replies on your on your WhatsApp status. So I still have him on WhatsApp because I mean uh, I mean it doesn't really matter. I don't I don't really have time to delete and block people just because we didn't get along. Like I'm not that. I'm not that girl. So if we didn't get along, you know, I move I move on. I just I told him obviously that okay, fine, you know what? Me and you mm -mm, never we looking for two different things, you know the type of guy that I, I I like, you know the type of guy that I want. And yeah, actually, yeah. So then I replied on his status, then he was just and then he started telling me about his girlfriend, you know, what she does and then how how rich she is. And you know what's funny? I even told him, I was like, yo, bruh, you know, you are so shallow. And he didn't get it. He And then he started sending me her pictures. I'm like, uh, okay, okay. I didn't even comment on her looks, like I'm saying. I didn't even comment whether she, she's pretty or not. But like I'm saying, to me, every woman is beautiful, honestly. Oh, yeah, and he refers to her as hot. You know, I hate that when, when, when guys do that. Like, they refer to us, to us as hot. We're not water. We're not, you know, plates, like stove. We're not, we're not like, a woman is beautiful, you know? And, and the fact that he keeps on referring to women as hot is just disrespecting in, in its own way. Fine, I get that, you know, I can tell you, oh, my friend, you look so hot. But I shouldn't, like, be... The only way that I can describe you is hot. I remember even me when 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 he was still asking me out, he used to tell me, "Oh, you know, you're hot," and you know, and then he would say he is good looking and I am hot, and and I'm just like, huh? Like he was just so so shallow, so so shallow, and he he didn't get it when I told him yesterday that you know what, bro, like you're so shallow, and I, I don't get how, you know you. You, you 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 know i don't well i didn't tell him that but i'm just saying i don't get how he got in the career but then maybe he's smart i don't know no i don't get how he got in the career that he's in uh if if he is like that maybe then he is book smart because obviously there's different kinds of smart but i just i just don't don't you know i don't like shallow people i don't like shallow friends i don't date guys that are shallow uh <laughs> I don't get dates, guys, that are shallow. I mean, I like... To me, it's more about the mind. I am a proud sepersexual. I like people that are smart. I like people that, you know, when we have a conversation, we can have a, a real conversation with those people. I'm not shiny, yeah? We can have, like, a real conversation with those people. We can have, like, a, an insightful conversation with the people. And I can get to learn from the people that I'm talking to. I can get to learn from them. So, you being good looking doesn't doesn't really matter to me, you know. It doesn't really matter to me. Um, if you are good looking, it's a bonus. But ugh, looks to me don't really don't really matter because, like I'm saying, I'm not shallow. But now I'm not saying like I'm like a deep person. I can take I can take jokes. I can, uh, you know, understand some things. But then, especially if you're trying to date, if if we're trying to date or, or build something. Ugh, Mm -mm, I can't and then also like with friendships friends that are, are shallow so please guys just be careful of those people because they will break you because you know what's gonna happen it's you're gonna date this famous person then all of a sudden you start having like a lot of friends around you oh yeah and shallow people we see them all the time all everywhere because um some people they do say oh i once then i got famous then i started having like friends and you find that when something goes wrong or the fame or whatever you find that those people that were only friends with you after you became famous or after you started dating with someone that is famous then they disappear 
You know why? Because those were really not your friends. They were just with you to boost their egos, to just add on their list that, oh, okay, I'm friends with, you know, the soccer player's wife or the soccer player's girlfriend or, you know, I'm friends. Just like I'm, I'm, I'm looking and I'm seeing so many shallow people around um, that. Uh, what What's this woman's name, man? Um, what's her name? Uh, it's, it's, it's Sean Kizer. Sean Kizer. There's a... Like, Sean Kizer was, was very low-key. But now, because she's got this show, I don't know if they're trying to promote the show or really she's friends with all these people. But now she's gotten so many friends. She's gotten everyone calling her my best friend. And it's just like, oh, but she was... You never even posted her before. Like, she was she was not your best friend before. Like, there are people that, even, even though they were famous or they are famous now, they post their, their best friends. Like, even if you don't know the best friend. And then, yeah... We don't know the best friend, but then the person will post and, you know, just be on that. Oh, that's my, this is my best friend. Even if she doesn't, maybe she's a regular teacher or a regular doctor or something. Well, the person is a celebrity. They're going to say, okay, this is my friend, wada, wada, wada. But now you, you, you can't be calling people best friends just because now they're, they're getting famous and they're getting money, you know? So, yeah, guys, so as I was saying... Be careful of shallow friends. And today I'm going to be early at work. I'm so happy. I'm going to be early at work. I'm so, so happy. Okay, so now I've put oil. Literally, I was just speaking on and oiling myself up. Um, let's see. What do we do? Um, so yeah, be careful of shallow friends because they will break you. I know what's going to happen is, I mean, at the end of the day, you are human. Uh, you know, you are human. You might, you will have all these people around you just because of your status or what you do and and things like that. And then, when things go south, <coughs> sorry, when things go south, that when then okay, firstly, obviously, it's like like I said, you're human. You've got you know emotions, you've got feelings. So then you're gonna start liking them for real, and. You know, maybe even consider them as your friends. You know, not, you know, realizing that, uh, I mean, this person only became your friend after some certain achievements that you had. Um, so then when things go south, then you will, you will need them as your friends to be there for you, you know. And what, what are they going to do? They're going to leave you and move on to the next one. You know, the next one that is richer or, you know, that still has things going for them. They won't support you and then that will break you. That's why we see so many people going into depression because, and, and I've heard so many people say, oh, you know, I had this, this and this. And then I, when I lost it or when I lost my job and things like that, then, um, oh yeah. And no guys, this is, my hair is very, <laughs> I've got a lot of baby hair and, 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 and I don't nurture it. Like I don't. Um, I don't like put, uh, what's this? What do people put, man? I don't put, uh, what is this? I don't put, I don't put like gels and stuff on my baby hair to make it like flat and things like that. Cause to me, it's just like, ah, uh, I mean, I've got beautiful hair. I know that thanks to my, thanks to my dad, actually, I've got beautiful hair. Like even now I don't put, I don't relax my hair, but my hair is like, fur and then it's like soft i don't know if you guys have seen oh there's a video there's there's one video where i have my natural hair so that's why i always braid my hair because it's 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 kind of difficult to manage coarse hair or like it's too too in zulu it's kind of difficult to manage your hair but yeah i've got like a lot of baby hair and so this is it here this is it here <coughs> So as I was saying, guys, shallow people will break you because like this guy that I'm talking about, this example of a guy that I'm talking about, imagine since he's, you know, busy showing off how his girlfriend is pretty and rich. Imagine if she if she was in an accident, you know, OK, no, this is bad. <sighs> imagine if she was in an accident and then she was not like she had a scar on her face or yeah, she was in an accident. Do you think he'd still want to be with her? And then another thing, imagine if she 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 lost her job and she wasn't as rich 
or she got retrenched we know in south africa how the the thing is going like retrenchments and stuff we know how that is going so imagine if she got retrenched do you think he would he would still be with her even though she's unemployed i don't think so i really don't think so so imagine she thinks right now i have a boyfriend that you know is all for me okay guys this is bad she thinks you know i have a boyfriend that is all for me and if things were to go south for me my boyfriend will be there but i don't think he will so imagine when he leaves her after she is retrenched and, and, and stuff he like wouldn't that break her because you just lost your job you know you really need like people around you and then the the one person that you care about your boyfriend well not the one person but you know what i mean the one per- the person that you care about your boyfriend you're expecting him to be there and your boyfriend is just like ah, kudos it was nice knowing you like do you really think she would i mean that would actually break her that would be so depressing okay guys i think i think this is not working i'm just gonna go to my hairband I'm just gonna use my hairband yeah so that would be so depressing like i know i'd be depressed if 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 i you know i lost my job and shit like that and then my boyfriend that i i would think that is there for me should be there for me just left me so be careful of shadow people with me even with friends if you know my friends if i make friends because i may i do make friends actually if i make friends okay and now this is just okay if i do if i make friends i am very analytical like i i look are you are you do you really just like me well not that i have like a lot lot but you know some some things what i've learned in life is that some things you may think they're not a lot for just because they're not a lot for you it's something usual for you but then for someone it's something big you know so then yeah that's what i'm saying i can't really say i i don't know but then if if i feel like you are with me not for me but there is like certain reasons or there's ulterior ulterior motives or these things that you know are kind of like more important about me they are more important to you than me as a person i leave that friendship like i don't i don't even continue oh my god now because of all these olds my hands are slippery but anyways and yes i'm that type of girl if i've got lip gloss or lipstick i'm going to use it until 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 and i like it and i know i said i like matte on my lips and yes i did like matte but uh i just like this lips this lip gloss i like it so so much uh i like it so so much because it stays it keeps my my lips moisturized and yeah it keeps my lips moisturized and it literally stays the whole day and at work just that i won't reveal which company i work for if you don't know me personally you don't know which company i work for if you do know me personally you know that with what i do at the work i talk a lot so i can't be every five minutes i'm checking my lipstick you know every five minutes i'm checking my lipstick so that's why i like this because i can talk and talk and talk for hours and still have my lipstick on anyways guys so now i'm done um oh by the way at work i wear uniform so i'm not gonna wear uniform here because obviously i don't want you know i don't want work uniform on this on 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 the video so now i'm done now i'm just gonna wear my uniform and then i'm gonna leave the house and i hope you guys have a lovely day going forward oh and i've got a new um i've got a new venture that i'm i'm, I'm working on so when it's all set up i'm I'm going to let you guys know. I still love you guys so, so much. Bye.